Today I'm going to do a quick review of the Sanyoi M4500 boombox ghetto blaster. Now this unit here is actually not too feature rich. For example, it doesn't have any it doesn't have a light and if I contrast this with a for example like a Sharp 91 91 or something or 9090 I think that unit has for example you can go ahead and you can set the manual you can set a manual recording level supposedly this unit puts out uh, 3 watts per channel I don't know if that's RMS or what I mean there is I think a little power output IC in there and it didn't seem to be too large so in a separate video I'm going to go ahead and do a power output test. Um, now what can I actually talk about here? Well it has two, of course, two built-in microphones. One on the left, one on the right. This is of course your tweeter. Here is the tuning indicator and also it'll show you your battery level that's left if you have it if you're running it off of uh, basically batteries, I think it takes nine D size batteries. You get your this is just your like a function indicator here. Also, this too. This if you put it in the phono position, which I'm going to do now, you see the green light comes on, and this is uh, the FM stereo indicator. And as far as the bands are concerned it's got FM shortwave 2 shortwave 1 and the medium wave which is of course AM the cassette here it doesn't really have like a like a soft eject function is just blam it just basically comes out and of course you got two VU meters which is well really not that special and you got a of course a counter and you really can't expect any earth shaking bass from this thing if you look here the woofers they might be about four and a half inches and here you can see they're rated at three watts four ohms so you're definitely not going to go boom boom so looking at the top of the unit we can see here it's got Common, this is a combination balance and volume control. Here you got your bass and treble control. This is just a function switch. Switching between phono, radio, tape. Coming over here, you've got your basically your regular type piano key type button stop, pause, fast forward, play. Um, rewind and record here you can switch between the different kinds of tape normal fairy chrome and chrome and coming over here you got your mono stereo stereo wide and of course you can select between your different radio bands and looking at it from the right side, we can see it's got a tuning knob, a fine tuning knob. It does have phono inputs, which is good. You've got two little small, like quarter inch jacks for microphones. A little tiny little uh, jack for the um, remote. This is for play record connection. It's got phones here. Phone jack and then it's got uh, here you can hook up to external loudspeakers here's a unit from the back it doesn't have anything in particular worth mentioning it does have uh, two terminals on the right so you can hook up a 300 ohm dipole antenna and this thing here is the oscillator switch that's used when recording from AM to stop interference. So as far as the 
problems with the unit is the usual um, belts. Belts are normally worn out and the of course the head was really the head head was as far as the problems with this unit are concerned it's uh, the usual the belts I did find this unit hard to work on though like in contrast I always contrast everything to a shark because for me they set the standard um, I thought it was rather convoluted to work on and it's got some kind of a crazy system here where if you want to get take the cassette unit out completely you have to pull all these buttons off which is not very easy to do because you have to once you separate everything there then you have to come underneath the buttons and push with the screwdriver and pull at the same time and I believe they can break right really easy in fact it even mentions in the service manual yeah if you break one replace it and be especially careful so that's telling me right away uh, okay the the breaking of the buttons is like pre-programmed if you take it off also it had scratchy pots but that's about normal for a unit this age and I just went ahead and sprayed it with contact cleaner of course contact cleaner that had lubricant in it